Hey, this is Amken Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the UPS that I got. I got this because I recently moved to a new place, and the electricity goes out every five or six minutes for a few seconds. They're supposedly fixing the, I guess, the circuit breaker, but I don't really trust the landlord, unfortunately. And if I'm attaching an expensive computer and screen, I might as well get this to protect myself. This is the 1600 voltage amps or 960 watts version. Unfortunately, the store that I got it from was out of the lower ones. I was forced to go with this one. Uh, and we'll see how it is. Hopefully, if the thing is still live, I'll link to it on Amazon or another retailer. I don't recommend you getting it from this specific store because it's a bit overpriced, but if you're out of options and if you're in Israel, it's there. This is the 220 volt European version, and it doesn't come with the uh, actual normal, I guess, outlet or socket, so you'll need to buy a splitter or you'll need to get some something to convert it. And when you pay this much amount of money, I expect more of it. Expect them to give you like some sort of converter. I lost my pocket knife, so I'm just using a set of keys to open it. Apparently this comes with warranty on the box itself, but not on the electronics that are connected to it. Which is not good, and I also got pure sine wave because of my... My PS uses active PFC. I'm not an electrician or an engineer, so I don't know the specifics, but from the bit of research that I did, if it has active PFC and it's not pure sine wave, then it could cause issues. So I recommend you checking what type of PS you have. So I got this model because it has a replaceable battery and it should cost around 100 shekel which isn't too bad. I don't want to have to buy a new unit in another four or five years. It's kind of a waste of electronics just to toss it out and if it's trustworthy, it's fine by me. So they do have an extension piece. And they give you another extension piece. So I guess if, you, if your cables aren't long enough, that's an option, but they don't give you a regular outlet. For computers, it's fine usually because you have the conversion anyways, but for other things it's not. And you have a USB thing because they have a piece of software that connects to your computer and it gives you like a warning and more information about the actual UPS. You could change some settings. And I didn't buy it specifically for this, but it's cool. It has USB type C and type a, like the regular one on the front, so you could charge your devices in it also, not that it's recommended. Because this is not a generator or anything like that. It's great for PCs, screens, consoles, maybe 3D printers, and some other expensive electronics that you don't want to break. It is quite heavy, and it's thinner than I thought, which is nice. So I'll just put it by my outlet, and then connect that to the monitor, and then We'll see. Let me pull it out. Of the plastic, this is a receipt and it says that it passed all the quality assurance tests, which is good because I spent a lot of money on this. And it shows you how to replace the battery. I will need to go in and check it before I actually plug it in, just because I don't want it to break down before I even start it. Here's the input. Oh, so you can't even use it in the states or outside of Europe because this is only 220 volts and only is four. I expected there to be more. These are for just surge and these are battery and surge. There's a circuit breaker and wireless or not an Ethernet and telephone, which I highlight how people use these days. Let's move it around. On the front, there's a monitor. There's uh, volume control. 
USB regular and USB-C and some sort of menu button. Let's open it up and continue from there. Move the sticker and expose the other four uh, outputs, I guess. Here's some uh, work you need to plug in this piece to the battery. You can't lift it completely because this part's also connected. Let's plug it in. Plugged in the red connector. I'm going to connect it to power and make sure that I did the battery correctly and we'll start it. It's going to have to charge the battery, which is quite large, so I'm going to have to wait a few hours in order before I can begin. We just plugged it in and now it appears to be charging and working perfectly. I'm going to shortly connect my monitor and the computer and we'll turn it on and then we'll conclude the video.